Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another Masters of the Universe action figure, and this is from their Origins line, and this is Mosquito. And uh, I got this recently at my local Target store and was kind of surprised to see this and several other figures uh, in previous visits to retail. All I'd ever seen was uh, Skeletor and He-Man. So to see some other characters on uh, toy shelves was uh, pretty exciting. So, and this one in particular, because it, it has such a bizarre kind of look to it, and uh, it's a deluxe figure, so it has like special features. I knew right away as soon as I saw this, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the one I should pick up because it's got a lot of interesting features, including um, there's like this uh, uh, blood pumping feature inside the torso of the figure. So that's really cool. It comes with an extra head sculpt, an extra hand weapon here. Uh, and uh, this energy draining effect so uh, so this looks uh, pretty exciting and uh, we're going to get this open in a little bit and I'll show you some of the features on the back of the package you can see some of the other uh, figures that are offered in this line uh, Battle Armor He-Man, Battle Armor Skeletor, Buzzsaw Hordak there's also the Wind Raider vehicle there's a Castle Grayskull and then over here uh, they show you some of the features of uh, this this particular figure and you can see some of the nice artwork too up here at the top uh, they've included like these really fantastic illustrations and they also include a mini comic book with these figures as well but I'm more interested in just the the figure itself so uh, let's get this open and I'm going to show you some of the features so stay tuned okay so here we have mosquito out of the package now and you can see some of the various uh, things that come with this. As you can see, he comes with this blaster weapon, uh, which fits very nicely in his hand. Uh, and there is an extra hand, so uh, you can put this on the other on the other thing, because this is uh, basically just a fist. Uh, so, but you can swap out the hand if you want to have him hold the blaster in this other hand. So uh, that's a nice accessory. Also comes with this uh, different head sculpt, too. Uh, you can see what that looks like up close. Very cool. There's a lot of texture on that. Um, so this is, uh, I guess, what they would consider to be the non-helmeted version. And then this one is actually a helmet. Uh, so uh, pretty cool uh, head sculpts, both of them. Um, I think this one is probably more in keeping with the way the original vintage version looked. And there's also this energy draining effect, uh, which you can fit on the nose of the figure, and then you can attach it to uh, one of the adversaries. For instance, I have uh, Battle Armor He-Man right here. So you can take this sort of energy draining effect, put it around uh, a figure, and then attach it to the, the nose of Mosquito. And then it looks like, you know, he's sort of like draining the, draining the power out of an adversary. So that's kind of a cool effect. It gives you a chance to sort of interact uh, two different figures at once. And the uh, head sculpt is a little loose on the ball joint. So, uh, you know... Um, when you have that uh, energy draining effect on there, it kind of weighs it down. So uh, that's just one thing to keep in mind um, in terms of uh, the overall uh, head sculpt on here. And again, we can swap this out uh, with the other head sculpt. It's real easy to do so. Um, one interesting thing about these this uh, toy line is the fact that there's interchangeable parts. And they give you a little diagram showing you which parts are interchangeable on this particular figure. The arms are not removable on this because of the the chest gimmick. So um, uh, unlike uh, some of the other ones, including the first issue, He-Man and Skeletor figures where you could swap out the, the arms at the shoulder, you can't do that on this one. But there are parts that are removable, including the, uh, the lower part of the leg, this boot portion. You can actually move that and you could swap that between various figures. So uh, cool thing uh, that you're able to sort of customize these figures and change them around and do different things with them. So this figure also includes this blood pumping action in the chest area of the figure. So it's kind of a gimmick, but it's kind of interesting too. So you basically just have to press this button on the back of the figure and um, you get this sort of effect where it's like the liquid inside of there it kind of moves around and sort of bubbles and does weird effects. So yeah, that's kind of a cool feature. Um, Kind of unique. Uh, I hadn't seen anything quite like this uh, on any of the other action figures that I've seen. So quite cool. And I guess this is this is uh, um, something they did in the vintage line as well. So uh, let's talk a little bit about articulation. As I mentioned, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you get a lot of uh, movement back and forth, you know, side to side. 
you know, twist. And at the shoulder, uh, he can extend out. He's also got articulation at the elbow. You can see it bends back and forth like this and also pivots. At the wrist, there's a pivot joint there and also bending back and forth like this. Uh, at the waist, uh, it's basically a single joint there, but uh, it should be noted that this is one of the parts uh, where you can actually separate it. So um, you can actually take it apart and you could actually swap out another figure's uh, lower half uh, if you wanted to do that with these action figures. Very cool feature that these things have these sort of in interchangeable parts. So it's one of the things that makes this line quite unique. At the hip, he can kick out, he can kick forward, he can kick back. At the knee, he can bend. He also gets a pivot joint there. And there's a pivot at the uh, boot cut too. So, and again, th that part's removable. So you can swap that out with various other figures. So very cool there. And at the ankle, you get a bend back and forth like this. And also rocking back and forth like this and a pivot. So yeah, a lot of articulation on these. Uh, uh, it's one of the things that differentiates it from, from the original vintage line of Masters of the Universe figures. These ones have a lot more articulation. So that's a very cool feature. This, uh, this figure also comes with this mini comic book. It's just a few pages long, but features a mosquito on the cover of the comic book, which isn't quite nice. And it's just a few pages long. Some nice artwork in here though. Looks pretty cool. And then on the back of this, you see uh, pictures of the other things that are available in this toy line. So very excited to have uh, some of this stuff in my collection. And this toy line is, is quite exciting because it, uh, it appeals to both collectors and kids uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the fact that it has a lot of playability, you know, appealing to kids. And it's very durable as well, and, but also has that nostalgic kind of look to it. Uh, which makes it appealing to uh, maybe adult collectors who sort of grew up on the original vintage versions of these figures. That's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more reviews of Masters of the Universe action figures in the future, think about subscribing because I will be covering more of this kind of stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.